What's up guys? My name is Idan and welcome to How Much YouTube channel. This is my YouTube workstation and today I'm going to show you how I'm going to mine bitcoins with it and how much money can you make. I've been making mining videos since 2015. I shoot in 4K so I upgraded my computer to a 2080 Ti. Let's go set up the mining and see how much money can we make. So the spec of the computer is there is a 2080 Ti in there by Zodiac. There is also an i7 8700K and 32 gigs of RAM. Just enough for me to edit and render 4K with no problem. The first step is to download NiceHash. Now make sure you have a good computer and I need it because I record and edit in 4K and it really helps with the editing. When I render the video, it takes like one fourth of the time. I used to use an Alienware laptop, but the Alienware laptop has only a 1080 in there and it's a mobile version. It will take 40 minutes or even an hour to render. So this is much better for me. This is why I got this computer. But a lot of the times I don't render. So all that wasted time, let's use it for something good like mining Bitcoin. And here is the nice hash here. I'm gonna click on start mining and they let you register but I don't keep bitcoins here I usually transfer them right away to another wallet it's safer that way in my opinion but they will store the temporary bitcoins here while you mine them and then later you can move them so you have to register first alright here's my wallet as you can see I have $44 in my wallet and I only started mining 10 days ago because bitcoin went crazy I said why not I have a 2080 Ti not doing anything if you have AMD GPUs I recommend downloading this version. So this is NiceHash 3. I really enjoy using it specifically, so I'm gonna download and install this one. And I know other people will complain and say, why would you use Linux or Ubuntu or something? It's simply because it's easier to use NiceHash. I, I want Windows and I want Windows to be open all the time for me. And why not mine while I'm not doing anything? My computer is on anyways. This is why I choose NiceHash. Yeah, you can mine maybe a little bit more, a couple percentage more uh, money if you have a dedicated uh, mining OS but I'm not doing this right now. Installing takes a little bit of time because you also have to download all the different algorithms that's available to download so it will take a little bit of time so be patient and as you download it you might have pop up from the antivirus section you might say it's a virus but no it's not a virus nice hash been working uh, for many many years with miners and stuff so yeah, it's not you have, you have to go ahead and allow it on your antivirus for sure you're gonna have that pop up and if you do it it will mine better because more of those miners will work so I highly recommend you allowing nice hash on your antivirus all right so we have nice hash downloaded if we go to devices you see that we have the Intel i7 8700k but we are not gonna mine on it there's no point it's a waste of time and we also have the Zodiac RTX 2080 Ti and now it's benchmarking so before it start mining it's gonna try and mine uh, on those benchmarks before to know which one is the best which one will make a lot of most amount of money and this will take a little bit of time so this one is almost done you only have one left here and once it's all done doing the benchmark it will know which algorithm to mine nice hash knows automatically to change between them so then you will get the most amount of profit as you can see here we're making two dollars and 85 cents a day from the Zodiac RTX 2080 Ti, it really jumps a lot. It was showing like $6, then $3, sometimes $2. It's really hard to tell how much you're gonna make, uh, but we can estimate about three bucks is the average. You could also go to NiceHash Calculator and find your 2080 Ti in my case and see how much you're gonna estimate you're gonna make. So it shows here $3.48 is the estimate for a day which is 133 bucks per month. Now I wanna check how much electricity does the miner take comparing to the having the computer on? Cause a lot of times I have the computer on all the time anyways. So we're gonna compare the two, see how much power extra we're taking and calculate how much it's gonna cost for electricity. Now if you have free electricity, it's free, obviously. Here in California, it's actually 20 cents per kilowatt hours. Maybe even more, it depends, depends on a lot of things. But I'll calculate 20 cents per kilowatt hours. All right, so here's the computer on, not mining. As you can see, there's a lot of LEDs, so it's definitely gonna take some power. We're averaging about 56 watts of the computer, not doing anything, just on standby. Now let's start mining and see what happens. Now that we are mining, we are pulling about 323 watts. It's actually calculating pretty nice on NiceHash itself. It shows you $33 
uh, per month for electricity costs. So it's pretty accurate. As you can see, the income is 133. After income, it's a hundred dollar profit. Just by having the computer on, it's on anyways, why not mine it? About wear and tear, I will say that I'm not worried about it too much. I've been mining with GPUs for many, many years. They're designed to be on all the time. It seems like it because I never had issues. My Alienware laptop, it's a different story. I was mining on it, it has a 1080 and I did burn the motherboard, but luckily Alienware has a such good support, they actually replace it for free. So that's why I would not recommend mining on your laptop or anything like that. The worst case scenario, the fan might get too dusty or dust can go into the fan engine and then you might need to clean it or replace it. And even that, it costs a few bucks. Still worth it um, if it takes years to break and you make thousands of dollars by then. It's pretty much worth it in my opinion. You're probably wondering what's the best video card to mine with. In my opinion, it's the 3080 because of its price. It's actually mining $5.45 per day. The 3090 mines $6.69 per day, but the price difference makes the 3080 perfect for mining. Now the problem is finding one. Let's see how much 3080 costs right now. So I'm looking for RTX 3080 and I don't even see pricing because nobody really is selling it right now. Let's say I click on this one. So the Asus ROG um, 3080, they're selling it for $1,500. I think MSRP is only $6.99, so obviously it's not worth it. But for $6.99, if you buy a lot of them, it might be worth it. Or even if you want to upgrade your computer, you're already a gamer. So you can either mine or play video games or edit videos on the same card all the time. Now let's talk about overclocking. Now overclocking is an option, and I noticed that specifically my card does not like overclocking at all. Like I tried to go really, really slow, and it still doesn't work out. I'm using Firestone. This is a software for the Zodiac video cards. Here's my settings. I only managed to get 105 extra megahertz on the GPU clock speeds. Also, I boost up the memory for 930, which is not bad, that's a good amount. Power is at 115% and it's all live right now. So it's pretty stable, but I noticed that it's better to just leave it off because you're consuming more power and a lot of times it's a lot more than what you're actually gaining and you're risking a lot of crashes at the same time. But you have to test it yourself and see. Your card might be much better. It's like a silicon lottery every time you get a video card. So your video card might perform a lot better for overclocking. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like. I actually made a bunch of videos like this. One of them was six different video cards all in one computer that's way different than a regular gaming computer and actually mine pretty good back in 2017 so i leave the link below if you want to check it out i have an instagram about it down down below you can also join i post all kind of different things about like how to make money and my experience with amazon things like that and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this and i'll see you guys next time peace